Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use physics in Game Maker to create a hilly kind of terrain. This tutorial was actually requested to me by another YouTube user. If anyone else watching this or any of my other videos has a request for a tutorial or just needs help with Game Maker in general, then I'll be happy to help out with that as well. So yeah, just send me a message or something if you need any help. Uh, with this tutorial I'll be I'll just be taking you through some pre-typed code. Normally I'd show you how to make it from scratch, but I'm currently having troubles licensing my copy of Game Maker, so this is the best I can do for now. Okay, first things first, you're going to want to create some kind of marker for your ground. So I've just created a little circle, just there. And um, of course there is just represent its exact location, so the exact point where the marker is set. And then I just centered that, and hit OK. Okay, then you're gonna want to create an object and call it something like object line. This is gonna be the base object for the ground, and without it, there won't be any collisions with the ground or anything. So if you've got a car or just a ball that wants to roll along this, then it won't collide without this. In fact, it just won't work without it. Okay, now this is the first bit of code here. So basically just sets up a fixture to set some variables to and then create some other variables in general this xs1, x, xx2, yy1 and yy2 are just positioning variables and then w6 is the width of the line that I draw but you won't necessarily need that okay alarm 0 which is set in here just down here that creates the actual fixture, like sets the shape and the density and all that. I'll do this in alarm zero just to make sure that all the variables are set properly before it goes to create the um, fixture. So yeah, that's that. If I'm going too fast for you, just pause the video on the code and then you can copy that down. Um, object car, that's just a collision event. And draw that's just drawing the line, but if you're just outlining like a hilly terrain or something, then you're not going to need that. With this object, I also parented it to object static parent, so just here. That's also for collisions, and you'll see how I do that in other tutorials that I've made. Okay, second thing you want is a script. Now this script is used to set the different um, ground segments. So this, when you like run this script, you've got four four arguments to set. So x x one is the first x. Then you've got the first y, second x, second y. It's a bit like drawing a line or a rectangle. It's the same concept. And then this here is, um, finds the center of the values it's put in, and then creates the object like object line at that point and then it sets that object that you've just created it sets those variables to the arguments that you've given then after that you're almost done you just want to go down you want to create a new object called like something like object ground create doesn't really matter what the name is and all it's got is a create event and a small loop that it runs through so all it does is checks if there are any ground markers it, if not then it destroys the instance if there is then it sets a variable num, num to the amount of markers that there is then it uses a while loop to run through all those markers and create lines in between them Okay. And then the object ground marker that I mentioned in object ground create is nothing but an object with a sprite. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's it. Okay, so then you just want to make a room and you can either just get the markers and make a ground from scratch. So I'll just zoom in on this. So this is all we've got to do to make the ground. Is line out your markers like that. Um you have to, well, I guess you don't have to, but you should 
create them from left to right, like that's just the way I do it. It makes it easier to keep track of. But I guess you could go right to left, I haven't really tried that. I guess it would still work. Anyways, this would just create a ground going from here to here, then there to there, and it'll just make a curve along. This like if you want really smooth curves then you've got to use more markers, so just hang on a sec. That there would be a really jagged curve, you just go straight and then straight. However, if you want a smooth curve, you do something like this. And then that would be a nice smooth curve, because it's got more points to go through. Okay, um, once you've got your markers set out in the ground that you want, you then just add in your object ground create, and then this object will run through these and create your ground ground segments and that's it. It'll make you ground and it's ready to go. So another thing you can do is if you want to outline like a ground or something you just make a sprite or something. I'm just going to use a sprite. Uh, I've already made a sprite for this. It's just a hill kind of terrain thing and I just link that to an object just like that or I guess you could use it as a background as well if you wanted to do it that way but you just place it in your room like so I'll zoom in a bit again and then you just get your markers and you start outlining it so just like this Actually, yeah, you'd probably be better off using it as a background because, as it turns out, you end up selecting the object instead of placing the thing. So, yeah, instead of using it as a sprite, go load background, load it, just like that. Hit OK. Backgrounds, background, and I'll stretch that and that will work a lot better okay so yeah as I said before you just want to go through and start outlining the ground that you've got with these markers then when you run the green it'll look like you're going along the terrain that you've got so just like that the only problem with this technique and I'll see if I can figure out a way to get around it um, when I've got my game maker up and running again is that you can't have like gaps in your ground so say you had a terrain and you had like a jump to go over or something to do that you'd have to like go from the jump so say we had a gap like right from like there to this mark here so there wasn't any ground there you'd want to do something like this so you'd want to have a new ground segment going from your final point on the first section of ground all the way down out of view somewhere and have some kind of controller to like say that you died or something when you fall down there and you want to go over to the other side of your gap and build a l and like set the ground to go straight back up to where you want to go and then that way you've still got the gap kind of thing and you can still use this way of making the ground but yeah, then you just follow it around with the rest of your terrain, and it should all work fine. Now, <coughs> in d because I can't test the game, I can't guarantee that what I've just done there is working. Because, as you can see, I've only got the Android export. I don't know why it does that. It's got something wrong with the licensing in it. I'm trying to figure out a way to get it up and running again, but yeah it should work and yeah so th thanks for watching if you ha need any help with anything uh, just send me a message and I'll be happy to help out um, yeah subscribe like it all that YouTube stuff and I'll see you with the next tutorial